Shamai, I recently did a video on swing strum and swing beat for the ukulele and I did promise at the time to do one for the bass ukulele as well. So that's what we're going to do today. Swing beat on our bass ukes. And a bit of love for the cheap pinky bass ukulele today because I haven't used it for a while. So swing beat as opposed to straight beat. If you haven't already seen it and you play the uke, go and check out the one for the ukulele because it talks about the swing strum. Um, for the bass ukulele, um, I'm going to look at quite a straightforward pattern today. Okay, so I'm just going to take a look at quavers, all right, or eighth notes in American uh, music note values. So, straight quavers would sound, okay, they're even, all right, you can see them, they look even, and you play them uh, evenly. Each note is the same uh, note duration. One and two and three and four and. Okay, now <clears throat> if we go by the same logic that I talked about before, where uh, instead of having two notes, we're squeezing three notes into the same gap. So in other words, instead of two quavers, it becomes a triplet. Don't worry, that's just the three notes. And we're not playing three, we're just playing the two. You can notice the middle one has disappeared, has been scratched out. Okay, so straight beats would be... Imagine you're walking or running evenly swing beats the first one is going to be longer than a gap and then the second one's going to be quite close to the next note so long short long short long short long short long short long short so if you imagine straight beats walking or running evenly and then swing beats skipping along. So straight, swing, straight, swing. Now, <clears throat> again, if you read notation or know your note values, you can sort of logically work out fitting the three tempo into the even beats. In other words, the triplets into the quavers, all right? But it's more about the feel of it, okay? I always try and think of it when I'm playing bass. Imagine uh, the ride cymbal of a drum kit. That's the swing feel as opposed to a rock uh, symbol beat of tss, 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 tss. okay I will demonstrate with the drum machine in a minute okay so if we just look at a 12 bar blues for a minute in C I'll do it first of all straight beat so it sounds more rock note is even in a swing beat the same thing would sound okay so walking compared to skipping right we'll actually try that with a drum beat now just to give you an idea so the first one is going to be a rock beat in other words a straight beat and remember even if it's written out um it's never changed for a swing beat you literally just have the word swing and it would still be written exactly the same way okay 
that's just if you read a notation but it's all to do with the feel of it if you're playing and there's a kit playing a drum kit listen for that on the cymbal or the and that'll tell you straight or swing drum kit okay so a straight beat So that's a straight beat. Same thing, but with a swing beat on the drum machine. Now listen for the cymbal. Depending on whether you've got the notes written out or just the chord chart or just tab, always look out for that little word swing. Um, but more importantly than that, listen to it. All right, so you can tell the difference between straight beat and swing beat. When you've got to practice them, just pick any note and start slowly. just a straight and then swap to swing back to straight go to swing again playing a song or a piece of music and you just think it's not right um this could be it it could be you're playing or trying to play it with a straight beat and it's actually a swing or you're trying to play it with a swing beat and it's actually straight okay um i know i've been caught up myself a few times um and as i said in the ukulele video um, the first time I was introduced to a swing beat, I was playing in a big band, playing double bass, and the conductor shouted over, um, swing it, didn't have a clue uh, what they meant, um, and then very quickly somebody explained the quaver triplet thing. Now, I could read music, but it did take me a while to get the feel for a swing beat. So, you know, don't worry about reading it, feel it. So there we go, that is swing beat on our bass ukuleles, but of course it's exactly the same on double bass and bass guitar as well. But as I said earlier, if you are a uke player and you haven't seen it, go and check out my swing strum video as well, um, because it might actually make things a bit easier for you, okay? 
As always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free to drop it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.